Welcome to the basics of Register 360, part six. In this video, we're gonna cover the advanced UCS tool. Now, if you remember from part five, and also as shown on the screen right now, the standard UCS tool is still available from the sitemap view. However, to access the advanced UCS tool, you're gonna to need to go to either the bundle cloud view or the setup cloud view, and then go up top and you'll see that the advanced UCS icon is active. Click on that icon and move the box out of the way. You'll see that we have three tools. We have by pick, by plane, and by corner. Both the by pick and the by corner method offer you an option to create a reference point with that point of the coordinates, where the plane view only is simply to square up, say, like a building, and say from that plane, I want this way to be east or north or whatever. Now to make things simple, I'm gonna change over to the grayscale view so that you can see things a little bit easier. And the first one we're actually gonna use is the biplane tool. So we'll just zoom in down here to the, uh, the building. And in this case, I'm gonna say I wanna set my X plane and we'll choose the selection tool and window around the point cloud. And you'll see that it selects or highlights a portion of the point cloud. By double clicking on that portion, it creates a plane and you can now see this green arrow pointing out. This will be my new easting direction based off of the fact that I have the set by X plane. If it was set by Y plane, this would be my new north. If I wanna invert that direction, I can simply click on the plane again, and now that arrow is pointing the opposite direction. So when I hit create and come over here to my site map view, you'll see that away from the building is now my east direction. Now, we're gonna come back into the bundle cloud view again and we're gonna choose a different option. This time we're gonna use the by pick method. And much like in uh, the <laughs> video for part five, I'm gonna use this door as the reference because maybe I want my elevation to be 100 right at the door. I'm simply just gonna double click a point in front of the door and it's gonna create a vertex. Now I can come over here to my reference point and I can say I want 500, 500 and an elevation of 100 and that'll be my coordinate for this reference point. Now I can either set by the X plane or by the Y plane. In this case, I'm gonna use the Y plane because I want the face of this building to be pointing towards due north. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. And again, I'm gonna use my selection tool, window around some of the points, double click on the points, and you can see that it creates a plane again, much like it did before. And that arrow is now pointing out from the building just like I want it. By hitting create again, coming back to my site map view, you'll see that now my building is facing that due north direction just like I want. And when we come back into the bundle cloud view, I'll just select a point. You can see that my coordinates are based off that 500, 500, and 100 that I put right at the door. Now, to demonstrate the last option, we're gonna come back up here and hit our advanced UCS icon again, and we're gonna choose by corner. This time we're gonna rotate around and we're gonna zoom into this area right in here. And you'll notice that there is quite a bit of noise on the ground from leaves and stuff like that, but that isn't necessary. You don't have to clean that stuff out. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on any one of my planes, whether it's the ground or the two walls, and it'll create three planes and put my reference point at the intersection of those three planes. Now, you can see that my reference point is right at the intersection of those three planes. Again, I'm just gonna use the same coordinate basis of 500, 500, and 100 here. And this time I'm gonna say I wanna set by um, my X plane. And I'm just gonna come over here and click on that plane. So this will be my new easting. And I'm gonna say create. And we'll come back down here to the site map. And you can see that that portion of the building is now facing east. By coming up here and selecting our um, site map, you can see that all three UCSs are in there. And I can easily switch back and forth between any of them and I can also edit them or delete them at any time.